stitching. January. The etymology of stitching, the first month in the Polish calendar year, has numerous theories attributed to it. The most supported of these is that derived from the verb stykacze, to contact or connect. In other words, when the old year comes into contact with the new. There are, however, other proposals that have been entertained by Polish linguists. One such thought is that it refers to tyki, the wooden stakes that are used in food cultivation to grow vegetables and fruits more easily. Another theory suggests that it comes from tuka, a type of canvas that was produced in Central and Eastern Europe during the colder months. The latter two theories here tie into a common theme with other Polish month names, key points of the harvest season, and how seasonal changes affect them. As the Polish calendar year begins, the holiday season, or święta, is coming to an end. Things wrap up on January 6th with the Epiphany, known in Poland as Gen Czech Króli, or Three Kings Day. Being as devoutly religious as the country is, you can expect to find many colourful parades in each and every major Polish centre. Equally, if not more colourful, is the annual Kraków Christmas Cribs competition, or Szopki Krakowskie, when locals from all over the Małopolskie region converge on the city to show off their over-the-top nativity church models. Like elsewhere in the world, climate change has played havoc with normal weather patterns. However, you can still find an endless dump of snow in the southern mountain regions, most notably around Zakopane and the Tatras. In other words, Stichen is a great time to hop on your skis and head up the slopes. Arguably the most important event that takes place in Stichen is the Great Orchestra of Christmas Charity, or Wielka Orkiestra Świątecznej Pomocy, which has been raising money for the Polish healthcare system since 1993, and culminates in a fireworks show and nationally televised concert on the second Sunday of the month. So what does your Stichen look like? Are there any major events in Poland at this time of the year that we've left out? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the bell for notifications. And you can join our community on Facebook and Instagram. We'll see you next month. Do zobaczenia.